So I'm talking to Kathy Dyer and I'm talking to Bernie Zabel and you guys have created something that's so magical. How did this come about? It came about because we were 58 years old. We had had our, our previous uh, contract. We um, ran out and we needed it at our house. So we figured we would have to do something else. And our friend came back from his honeymoon in, hunt in Costa Rica. And he said, he just was waiting. He said, everybody has to go to Costa Rica at least once. So I said, okay, we'll go there. But if there's tons of mosquitoes, we will look at some other places. We, we wanted a tropical place. We went to several different places. Mm -hmm. And when we got up in this general area, which wasn't too hot or too cold, mm. just like Goldie got, yeah. just right, then I put my bags down in the cabin we were renting at the time, and I said, I'm never going to Oh boy. You know what? And that's funny because, okay, we've been here a few days. I'm already like, I don't want to go home. <laughs> I'm already scheming. How do I come back? So, but okay, so you come, you find this place, but it didn't look like this at all. <laughs> so did you guys have a vision for this or? Uh, Bernie had a vision for what? Well, this was this was part of the problem at the beginning. He wanted me to start work on the graphics and the, the promotion. And I said, okay, I need to know what it's going to look like, and I need to know what it's going to be. There was grass, and there was, was a pasture. There were cows. There were raggedy there. old trees here falling down, so they got torn down because they were mm -hmm. too. The ones that are beautiful, they stayed, obviously. We, both of us were had bias with two, and we're both very, very into ecology. Mm. So we wanted to preserve the natural beauty and the natural environment for the animals mm -hmm. and the plants, and make it nice for people, too. Wow, but when you, okay, so you come, you see the land, did you see the potential in the land in terms of this, what this has become? Or was this something that was gradual where you it bought? Was actually, Bernie first. First, he had to get <laughs> the workshop. Oh, that and was the first. There was nothing here. There was no water. There was no electricity. It's raining a lot, though. So we had water. Well, <laughs> hot springs so you can go take a bath. Yes. yes. <laughs> and um, in fact... <laughs> They're so cute, y'all. <laughs> yeah, it was... To me, it was... You know, this was the only semi-clear part of the, the whole property. Whoa! It was 42 acres and there's an area up above where the, the old Chico farmer had his pasture for his cows and his house. And those were the only places that was just jungle and then the apartment in August uh, Arcus. I was in mm. the United States and getting our house ready to sell and stuff. And then he started working on our house to live in. Mm. And it was when I came, when we finally sold the house in August of 2008, then we came here. The house was basically livable. There yeah. was a roof in there. <laughs> <laughs> I just installed the toilet. <laughs> Y'all were good to go. <laughs> Except Bernie is Mr. Matt. And mm -hmm. the first night I go into the bedroom, a bat flies in. <gasps> Oh! Said, okay, Bernie, there's a bat in the bedroom, and I would like him not to be in the bedroom. And so, but they're good. They eat mosquitoes. Oh, see, and he and I said, Bernie, I go along with Mr. Nash. 
to a certain degree. <laughs> <laughs> but you draw the line at bats in your bedroom. <laughs> and so what it was, the top of the house, he built it, you can get a picture of this later, mm -hmm. as a cooling tower. So if you build up a central tower in the house and you have windows at the top, heat will naturally rise and it will keep the house cooler. Well, he didn't have screens on the window. <laughs> and therefore, the bats had been completely dry the place. And it is so beautiful. And they come, they come, and go, like, wow. Oh, oh, oh. I love them. Yeah, you do. I almost named them. Oh, boy. You know, That's when you really love them, when you name them. We had a, a, a policy that if an animal was having it, 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 it wasn't <laughs> invited to dinner. To dinner. <laughs> it didn't become dinner. Oh. Screens on those windows. But, but going back to your previous question, we actually didn't know exactly what we wanted to do in Costa Rica. Oh, because we, do, um, we do needed an income. Right. We do not have any... any um, savings or something, we were both mainly working the whole, whole life as volunteers. I mean, in that and period of time, okay, you're, you're here, you're tr trying to figure out how you're going to earn money. Some of your conversation, did you go through a list of, oh, maybe we could try this or maybe we could try no, that? Like, how we, did you we get to... Know. Once we found the property, what, once we found we, which, which was, we looked at other properties like uh, tilapia farms and other income possible properties or bigger land to divide and build houses. But once we found it here, we knew that no, with yeah, the hot springs... We, we saw it found it the same thing. Yeah, not quite, but... <laughs> well, you know, we agreed to buy it. And, um, but the problem was, it was August 2008, and Ooh. the recession was coming. The crack. We would. Well, we actually had to make plans to build here a hotel with 12 rooms. Or, well, and and uh, we had an architect, we had to make a business plan. I went to the bank and I was asking for $800,000 to build here a hotel. And the bank in Costa Rica was much, yeah, much more careful than the banks in the United States. They called me up and said, Mr. Zaber, everything looks good, perfect, but we gave away all our money for this fiscal year. You have to wait for the next fiscal year and you will be on the top of this stack. And when he told me that, I said, somebody up there loves us. <laughs> because he hadn't told me he applied for a loan. I didn't. No. <laughs> and, um, the unloans, so the, or you will be. And it's actually true here in Costa Rica. Uh, during this time, it was really a booming country. Right. Oh, and for Tuna. For Tuna, all oh the new God. hotels, the big ones, were built during this time. Because it was becoming And they all fun. stand empty afterwards. And so <gasps> wow. Because the banks lost their uh, they changed right. their ownership because. Even with our loan here in Costa Rica, the interest was relatively high, but it was only for five years, so you have to come up every month with $20,000. And if you don't... Well, the you bank owns your, your land, <laughs> and you yeah. don't right. yeah. so Wow. Very, very we did it in the Poco a Poco. Which so is we little by little. Little <laughs> by little, and that's the Tico way. And we are, we are, we are um, debt free. Let's just talk a little bit about your background. Kathy, what's your background? I know you've done like a million things and you mentioned that you were a graphic artist. All throughout school, I intended to be a journalist. <laughs> okay, but you've, you've done a lot of uh, work, to, uh, volunteer work and work basically in social... In social things. Yeah. Well, I started out, to work. I wanted to work in journalism and probably had the same dream as all journalists to expose all the nasty things in the world, the things that were unjust and unfair. And, you know, I was going to be the crusader. I've always been a little bit of a crusader. But I also was the oldest of nine kids. So by necessity, I became a very good manager mm. because I had a lot of responsibility and no power whatsoever. And you have to be really skilled to do that, especially for my little kids. So those skills help 
th what we're looking at, what we're sitting well, on. But I want to get Bernie's background as well in terms of. Okay, <laughs> underlay, underlay. They started a new program. It used to be like nutrition was in the College of Agriculture, and mm. that's in science. I wanted a degree in social work too, because I wanted to do community nutrition. I always wanted mm. to go to the third world. That's what I wanted to do. And, but that's in little arts. And so, at one time it wasn't possible, but then they created the university college. And that way you could have inter-college majors. Cool. And so I did that. Cool. Bernie, what's your background? Um, it started out in black and white and got cut. <laughs> later part of my life. <laughs> um, I became an engineer in Germany just because my father said, you know, engineers are the ones who are needed and the safest uh, profession in this world. Everybody needs an engineer, he said. So I became one, but I actually wanted to become more an artist or a ranger or a farmer. I was always connected to mm. nature very strongly. Uh, I also studied pedagogic and uh, teaching. Teaching, mm -hmm. teaching, became a teacher, and then there was a group of people in, in Germany and we wanted to start an alternative way of living. Uh, we, di we disagreed with the way our parents lived their life and we wanted to do something It was and sort so of like, back then they called them a commune, now they would call it like an eco-village. Oh, what kind of village? Eco-village. Eco-village, okay. Something like that. So I came, uh, I, I got a visa and I came to the United States. I had six or uh, six addresses of communes I wanted to, to mm. visit here in the United States to see how they do it. Like the farm, there was, a, there were a lot of them. And I ended up uh, in the first one, which was in Santa Fe, the Senegal Ranch, where I yeah, met I this was. lady. So, but what I love is how you know, when you go out on your own and you're trying to create something for yourself, you end up calling on all of the gifts that you have mm -hmm. along the way. Mm -hmm. Because we also just saw some beautiful photographs of your paintings. And this guy makes stained glass and etc, etc. Yes. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, I... Yeah, I mean, I, I like to be creative. Mm -hmm. I like to create. Because well, I, I think what I'm, what I'm really curious about is the, the tones, just the layout of this place. The, uh, you know, uh, the organic architecture, I don't know if it's a correct word, but we're trying to uh, cooperate what we're doing here with the landscape, with mm. nature, and like we're in somehow in harmony. Mm -hmm. This area was partially mostly cleared. Yeah, was whole, this area uh, down there just this was area. a bean field. Oh wow! Or, yeah. or the original Tico farmer. Yeah. And wow. this was grass. It was grass for his and cows. And planted a I lot know. of banana trees wow. and, and all these coconut trees are planted here. Oh. And you'll find Birds all the buildings are here because otherwise we have to cut down rainforest trees. Yes. And we did not want to. Yeah, so we, we try to, to work with nature, but it's very difficult. I mean, there you have mankind and there you have nature, and yes. nature will, will lose. The trying also here incorporate a little bit, like I have a cow plantation, I have a furniture which I'm growing, mm -hmm. so it's a, it's a little bit the, the, the demonstration mm -hmm. aspect of a sustainable you know, living and yeah. to show a little bit. Here for the, the visitors also we made uh, walkways and um, yeah. so that the people get exercises and all. Wow. So we, we want to get people, you know, get the, get, get healthy. Yeah. I mean, that's right. the main thing. The main thing if you have and they like this because they, it's more like the old-fashioned people eco life you know, the resorts out okay. mm -hmm. you can go out in the, in the yeah. country and have a picnic and, you know, 
two mm -hmm. things. Yeah, we originally thought or Kathy thought that the name Hacienda would be appropriate for this place, which indicates that you know, they have animals and they have some kind of, of uh, support system too. Mm. But Hacienda is there a lot. And, and, and not only that, Hacienda is the name of the tax department. <laughs> Okay, so you ruled out Hacienda for the name of this place. Why not biotermolage? Because there's biology and then there's the rocks and the minerals mm -hmm. and the, you know. And I'm going to thank you all so much for yeah. everything. You're welcome. You're